Let's solve the advent of code 2021 day seven puzzle using Ivy. In this puzzle, we need to coordinate some crabs and submarines that all need to meet up at a single position along a horizontal axis. And we need to find the position that uses the least total fuel, which is equal to the distance traveled. So let's calculate how much fuel it takes to get to position two, like in the example. The distances are just two minus the sample. And then we need to absolute values. And then we need to add them up. That's easy enough. So the cost to get to position P is the sum of the absolute values of P minus X. That's great. But now we want to find the minimum cost over all possible positions. And we'd like to compute the cost of each position and apply a min like this. But the way that we've defined cost, P can't be a vector. And that's a problem. So we could write a tail recursive loop again, like we had before. But if we back up a couple steps, we can find a more elegant solution. We started with two minus sample. And if we want to try multiple positions, we'd like to do something that produces that kind of row for each position. And that's exactly what the outer product operation does. For example, 10, 20, outer plus one, two, three makes the entire matrix of combinations and applies plus. So we can do the same thing with outer minus to get all three rows for the distances. And then we can take the absolute values, add them up, and take them in, and we find that the minimum cost is 37. So putting that all together, we have the min of the sum of the absolute values of one, two, three, outer minus sample. So all that's left is to try all the possible targets instead of just one, two, three. Now it can't make sense to move farther to the left or farther to the right than any of the starting positions. So we can just try, try from zero to max, which should be um, from minus one to start at a uh, zero offset to iota of one plus max for the sample. That looks right. Let's just check, yep. So we should package that up. Minus one plus iota one plus max of x. Great. So then the overall cost is the min of the sums of the absolute values of all the possible ranges, the outer minus of x. And we forgot to say x. Cost of the sample. Perfect. Cost of the input. Let's see. All right. On to part two. Now in part two, turns out that Crab submarine engines burn fuel at a uh, increasing rate so that the overall amount of fuel scales quadratically in the distance traveled. They do one in the first step, two in the next step, three in the next step, and so on. So we can write that as a simple sum. Scale one, scale two. But that doesn't really apply nicely to a vector. Um, and so instead, we can back up and use the formula for a sum from back in high school, which is x times x plus one over two. And then that works well. And so here, this is working because the star and the plus and the slash all apply element-wise to the vector and even to a matrix. So this definition of fuel fits nicely into our cost equation. Um, we can drop it right in. Let's see, we wanna do the fuel scaling here. And now the cost of the input. Oh cost of the sample. It's 168. So then we'll try the cost of the input. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.